So, Tommy, I'm going to do a vegetarian taco. It's called rajas, which I'm using poblano uh, chilies, and these in rajas just means strips. So it's these cooked with potatoes and onions and sour cream and a little bit of cheese on top. Very, very Mexican standard taco. For vegetarian food, I think the Mexicans do quite well, actually, I think funnily enough. Too. But Mexicans love pig, too, and this really is a classic dish. I've got some potatoes here, I've got some chorizo. This one is really going to whet the appetite. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a classic little chipotle salsa. This is a morita chipotle. It's smoked, lovely smoky flavour. That's a jalapeno smoked, yeah. Yeah, jalapeno smoked. Dried chipotle chilies are available from Mexican food specialists or online. Thomasina soaks it in boiling water for 20 minutes and will use for her salsa when soft. She then chops her chorizo. This is a sausage, it's not a salami, so this has got to be cooked. So I'm putting the chorizo in the pan first because I want all that lovely fat that's going to stain and flavour my onion. To begin with, I'm just going to soften it mm -hmm. and just want the fat out because I'm now going to slice up my onion and the onion is going to soften, not brown, just soften gently with the chorizo. It's going to cook in all that lovely chorizo fat. So the chorizo is really the Spanish influence in Mexico, yeah. This is actually a Spanish one I'm using. Thomasina adds the diced onion to the pan, along with pepper and salt. She then chops garlic and fresh thyme and adds to the pan once the onions have softened and the chorizo has released its oils. This filling you will find at any street food stand in Mexico throughout the length and breadth of the country, then we'll add in the potato. Now, this potato is very simply just boiled. Um, I, I cut it up a bit before I boiled it, equal size chunks, so it cooks evenly. Mm -hmm. The potato goes into the pan with the chorizo, and it's over to Valentine to make a start on his classic taco. There's a um, poblano. This is very different from the green chilies we have here. Yeah. I'm gonna, it ripens to red and gets actually quite hot in the end. Yeah. Um, but I like them when they're green. So I just want to char the skins off and almost it's kind of, the skins are so delicious. It's almost like eating, just smelling these burning. Um, and I'm gonna put them straight onto the gas, no putting them under the grill. I really want that burnt. And when I kind of say black, I mean properly, properly black blackened. all over. These are quite hard to get hold of still in this country, although very easy to grow. So would you ever use Well, I would pepper? like to say to that that the green pepper doesn't quite do the same job for this dish. No. Poblano peppers are native to Mexico, but are available to buy online. I'm just going to so see they're beginning oh, to just go blistery. Yeah. I absolutely love meeting a chef who loves Mexican food almost as much as I do. For his topping, Valentine also slices onion and adds to a warm pan with sunflower oil and seasons with salt and pepper. And then I want to actually burn these onions slightly. Right, Tommy, my poblanos are done. Oh, really lovely. nice and blackened. Great. So those can come off. And then I'm going to add some cumin, just about half a teaspoon of cumin. Really give it a good mix-up. Oh, God, I love that smell. And Mexican oregano is rather mm. different to the stuff that we get here. It's Much very stronger. fragrant. So if you can't get hold of Mexican oregano, can you use... Use normal oregano. Yeah. It does, you know, pretty much the same job, but you just, mm. you know with this stuff, it's something slightly different. Finally, Valentine adds diced raw potato to the mixture and water to help the potato cook. So, Tommy, the potatoes are in, lid on, and I'm going to cook them until they're just tender for about 10 minutes. I don't want them bitey, but just tender. OK, perfect. Valentine is banking on his authentic poblano peppers winning over the judges, but Tomasina is convinced her chorizo and potato combo is a surefire hit. Which classic tacos will be perfect? <laughs>